Okay, so the first thing that got me kind of shocked was, because I hear this a lot, was the amount of good looking people that live here in Brazil is a lot, man. Like every corner, there is a good looking person. Every bus driver, garbage man, they could all be supermodels at this point. I'm like, wow, the people here seem to really take care of their looks when it comes to the gym etc like i went to a gym and my friend's like oh my god it's gonna get packed but when i was there in the middle of the day it was packed so his version of pack is different from my pack so it just tells me that a lot of people take care of their health and their bodies here and they want to exercise etc look good so if you come here and you want to find a special someone, you want to start a relationship or something, this definitely is the good spot because it I just feels a lot more easy to find someone here and that will have to be another video. But definitely Rio Brazil is full of good looking people. Pickpocketing. It happens, okay? And it, from what I heard, it happens frequently. And I would say it does because me and my friend, right, the other night we were walking down the street from the Prothella and from like the community area we we're walking down right and a bike sped so fast next to her and almost ripped her mobile phone out of her hands but she had such a good grip so it was weird though because he was in the corner I was like how the hell did he even see you had a cell phone like these people are so quick so like, even right now a lot of people will be like okay Martin you stupid you holding camera uh, GoPro in your hand and walking around Rio in Lapa so most likely here someone will try to steal this from me right but I got my right hand ready and my feet so if someone does try to take this shit we fighting I don't give a if you got a weapon and I also got this wrapped around my hand as well so if they try to pull it off a motorbike chances are pretty slim because I'm pretty strong I'll be able to hold this shit but you honestly wouldn't come here wearing flashy jewelry, etc. You want to keep that at home. Me personally, I, I wanted to wear some jewelry during the carnival and I was like, nah, it ain't worth the risk. So, yeah. And you also want to keep a bag that is more front, for example, like this here, because the chances of someone trying to nick that from you is pretty slim especially if you have a chest bag if you have anything from behind they definitely will try to steal it from you and by the way i'm gonna go get some acai my favorite place here i didn't know i would be here today they have really good acai so let's go get some this is my favorite place to get acai hey i'm coming to get some acai it's a really good place here. Yeah, they I see. Uh, the same as last time. Remember me? Uh, I came here last time, I got the... I had to show you this acai. Brazilians very known for their acai, okay? That's one of the reasons why I came here, because I love acai. I learned here, one of the things that shocked me was that their acai is full of shit. Like, I mean, sugar, M&Ms. Yes, you can get your acai without that, but it's so common here and most places have sugar. Now, the place I went to, I asked for no sugar and it did not taste that good. Usually, I mix mine with dates to give that sweetness and banana, but here they had no... Uh, they didn't add no sugar, right? So this homeless guy is like, oh, can I have some? Because they always be asking to have your food. And I'm like, yeah, you can have it because I didn't like it. And I gave it to him, right? You know what he did? He got Oreos, crushed the Oreos up and mixed it in the acai. I should have thought of that, but I'm in, it's the morning. I don't want to get Oreos in my blood system right now. I want some like fruit and good stuff. But it's interesting how they mix sugar with acai here. The next thing that shocked me is the customer service. Now, of course, it's never gonna beat Thailand. Thailand's got the best hospitality in the world, but Brazil is really good. So, this kind of leads to another shocking thing. I thought there would be more vegan restaurants here. I ain't gonna lie, Rio, you know what I mean? But there isn't really that much. But there is a lot of vegan options, you know, or accidental vegan food. But there's small businesses, right? 
if you speak Portuguese like my friend does, you can be like, hey man, um, I'm vegan, etc. And they'll be like, oh, no problem. Come here tomorrow and I'll have like some vegan food for you. So that's what we did to this particular restaurant down the road from us, this guy who owns his business. And he had beans, rice, chips, salad, um, some other stuff that is more plant-based. And that's really cool because a lot of restaurants are not gonna go out of their way to cook you some vegan food. So I really find that really good hospitality, really good customer service, and really friendly here. I've noticed here as well with a lot of restaurants, they're just, they kind of treat you like family, I guess. But if you know Portuguese, it gets you a long way with customer service because you're just able to communicate much more effectively in what you want, etc. Thing I have to add, yeah, they're not afraid to ask for the food that you're eating. I'll be like, hey, can I have some? Like, bro, like this is my food, get your own. But yeah, they, I remember the, uh, the carnival, I was eating these little like nuggets, these cauliflower nuggets, and the lady goes, oh, can I have one? I'm just like, man, I don't even know you, but here, have one. <laughs> okay, so this is my last one. They love, to party i didn't realize how crazy it is when it comes to partying in carnival like they go full on out and i mean not in a good way they'd be all sleeping together they'd be taking drugs alcohol a lot of it and it's crazy during carnival it's like i don't know i thought it was a christian event or some shit, but no if you copy for the carnival expect that it reminds me of the parties that they have down in australia high drugs high alcohol and just people going crazy so when you come here in the carnival you got to be really careful and it's interesting because one is they really don't give a fuck from my knowledge if you are into dudes so for example if you're walking down rio and you holding hands with someone or even kiss in public they really don't give a fuck and I like that. I like how they really don't care about other people's businesses. In fact, they may even be keen to try a little bit. I've noticed with the way they be looking at me sometimes. And I thought you were straight and you want to see what it's like. You know what I'm saying? So they're very open here, I find. And another thing that I find really interesting about that is that like during carnival there were guys wearing dresses like it's not like oh my god you're wearing a dress that's so gay they don't care you got these like guys from the gangs the hood and all that coming down in dresses and skirts they're just having fun you know they don't care it doesn't define them or their uh sexuality and i think that's really cool to have that type of open mind and here in rio they definitely have it